In today's Cricut tutorial for beginners, I am showing you how to use, apply, and layer Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl, and in the process, making a super, super cute shirt just in time for Halloween. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael, and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your Cricut and crafting channel where I post Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. So if you are new around here and you're also trying to learn how to use or even master your Cricut cutting machine, well, you are in the right spot. So consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that bell for all the notifications so that you never have to miss a single Cricut minute. Now today you all is a Craftoween episode where I am doing Halloween themed projects all the way up through Halloween. All right, so I am interrupting this video super quick because while editing this video, I have been given the go ahead to do a Cricut Maker giveaway during Craftoween. And y'all, I am so excited. And it's not just the Cricut Maker. I am also doing a huge StarCraft HD vinyl bundle giveaway, as well as a pin pin weeding tool and a squeegee tool. Oh, and we obviously cannot forget my favorite transfer tape of all time, the Medium Tech transfer tape. Now, you might be wondering, well, how in the world do I get entered to win all this? Now, this giveaway is exclusively for my texting community members. So if you are not a part of my texting community, that's really, really quick and easy to fix. All you have to do is text me at 502. 878-7189. You can say hi, you can say hey, you can say hey Mr. Crafty Pants, you can say whatever you want to say. Well, within reason. <laughs> now, once you text that in, you will receive an instant auto reply asking you to confirm that this is what you're wanting to do, put in some information. Once you put that in, you are then a part of my texting community. Super simple, right? All right, so now on to how you're actually gonna be entered to win this Cricut Maker Bundle. So first off, every episode during October, every episode of Craftoween is a brand new chance for you to be entered to win. All you're gonna to have to do is watch these episodes from beginning to end. During the course of these episodes, there will be a series of little code words that will pop up during the episode, during the video. It could be two code words, it could be four, it could be eight, that is gonna vary completely per episode. But what you have to do is actually watch the video from beginning to end to make sure that you collect all of those code words. And all those code words are gonna create one code phrase that then you're gonna actually have to text in to me at my phone number, which is 502-878-7189. Now, once you do that, and if you actually text it in the correct phrase, you'll be entered to win this Cricut Maker Bundle that I will draw a winner for on Halloween on October 31st. So that is gonna be one huge treat for some very lucky somebody. All right, so with that being said, let's get back to the fun. With my Cricut cutting machine, and I am so excited because today I am doing a highly, highly requested video. This one is for all the Cricut beginners out there. And this video is all about how to use, apply, and layer Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl. So let's go ahead and jump over into Cricut Design Space and let's get started. Now, as you can see, I already have my SVG file uploaded and already on my canvas and Cricut Design Space. Now, I did get this SVG from designbundles.net and I will link that for you down in the description box below. Now, if you are wondering though, how I actually downloaded this from designbundles.net and actually got it uploaded over into Cricut Design Space, no worries, I got you covered. I actually made a video just on that specifically, how to download files, like whether that be an SVG file or a font file from designbundles.net or fontbundles.net and actually how to get those over into Cricut Design Space. Now I will link that video for you right up here, as well as at the end of this video and down in that description box below. But as for this project today, as you can see, I already had the SVG file on the canvas and let's go ahead and get started customizing this a little bit because although it is is super super cute the way that it is now I do want to make some minor little tweaks to it and I'm going to take you along with me on that process so first things first let's take a look over here at the right hand side of the page in the layers panel as you can see all of these layers that make up this image they are all grouped together the first thing that I wanted to do is actually ungroup those so I can make specific changes to each of those layers individually so I'm gonna click ungroup right up here at the top of the layers panel 
And as you can see, I can now click each part or each layer of this image and drag it anywhere I want to on this canvas. Now, there are two main things that I'm not too keen on. I mean, again, the SVG file is cute. That's no lie, but I'm not digging this scar right here. So I'm actually gonna click on that and I wanna click this little red X up here at the top left hand corner and that will delete that out. However, if you just wanna see what something will look like without a certain element and you don't wanna necessarily commit to deleting something out, another option that you could do is just coming over here to the right hand side of the page again to the layers panel and you can see right here that scar layer. What we can do is actually click on this little eye icon on the right hand side of this layer and what that's gonna do is actually hide that layer and that's just going to take it completely out of sight and if we went ahead and clicked on make it we could go ahead and cut out our image without that scar layer ever showing up again i'm actually going to go ahead and delete that out though so i'm going to unhide it and then click this little red x up here at the top left hand corner and another thing that I want to do is actually enlarge this word hair. I think it looks a little a little weird <laughs> that the, the word hair is so small in comparison to monster and don't care. So what I'm actually going to do is click and drag over the bolts in his neck and the word don't care and then just drag that down out of the way a little bit. And now I'm actually gonna click on the layer that says hair. And if you'll take a look right here at the bottom right hand corner of this word, here is the resize handle. So we can actually click on that and then just drag that outwards to resize this however big we want it to be. However, I really am just wanting to make it just about the same width as the layers above and below it. So something just like that should do the trick. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more precise, another thing that you could do is just click these layers that we wanna match up. So let's click where it says monster. And if we take a look up here at the top of the canvas where it says size, we can see that the width for this is 1.724 inches. Now, obviously this is gonna be for a t-shirt and we'll resize that to fit on a t-shirt here in just a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and fix this layer right here. Let's click on this and we're not too far off. So we're at 1.699. Let's go ahead and change this though to 1.724. So I'm gonna clear out the numbers there and then just type in 1.724 hit enter and that is the perfect size as the layer above it. Now we can go ahead and check this layer below it where it says don't care. And that one's a little off as well. So let's go ahead and change that so that they all have the exact same width. There we go. All right, so there is all those. I'm actually gonna click and drag over these three layers, the three layers of words anyway, and then come up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says align. I wanna select that and then let's select uh, center horizontally. That should do the trick. Now let's click on the hair. Let's bring that down a little bit closer to the words. I mean, this is all subjective. It all depends upon which, what your style is and how you want your image to look. All right, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and take those bolts for his neck and move them up here onto each side of the word don't care. All right, so I think that, that looks pretty good. Let's go with that. And now let's go ahead and attach those together. So we want to obviously cut out uh, his hair and the word hair on black HTV. We're actually using Caesar Easy Weed HTV today. So I'm actually gonna click where it says hair and then I'm gonna hold down my shift key and select, well, his actual hair. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select attach. Now both of those are attached and if we went to the cutting mat now, if we went ahead and select and make it, these are gonna be cut out on its cutting mat just the way that we see them right now. Exactly like this, with that exact same positioning and everything, which is what we're wanting to go for. So now I'm actually gonna click on the word monster and then I'm gonna hold down my shift key and then select don't care. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select attach. And now the same thing goes for that. This will be cut out the exact same spacing, the exact same positioning, everything that we're seeing right here on this canvas. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is to do the same exact thing for the bolts in his neck. So I'm gonna click on one of those bolts and then hold down my shift key and then click the other. And then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select attach. All right, so really the only thing that we have left to do is to resize this to fit onto our t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our t-shirt. I'm gonna grab a little measuring tape and we'll, we'll measure it to see how big to make this. All right, so this is just a regular Gildan's Kids short sleeve t-shirt. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my little fabric measuring tape right here. And let's just get some measurements to see how big we want our design to be on this t-shirt. All right, so really just based on this, I don't want the height of our design to be any larger than about six and a half inches tall. So let's go ahead and plug that into Cricut Design Space and see what that gives us. All right, so to change that, I'm coming up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says size. And right here next to height, I'm gonna put in here 6.5 for six and a half inches. 
and that's gonna give us pretty close to the same in width. So let me just check that out real quick on our shirt. And I think that that's gonna look pretty good. So let's just go with that. All right, so there's really nothing left to do. So let's go ahead and come up here towards the top right hand corner and select to make it. All right, so we are using heat transfer vinyl today. And with basically 99% of heat transfer vinyl, you're going to need to go ahead and mirror that. And that's exactly the case today. So to mirror, basically what we're gonna have to do is come over here to the left-hand side of the page. And we can already see that each of our layers is grouped off onto different mats. So basically I'm gonna select mirror for this silver layer, the layer for his bolts. Then we'll come down here for the black layer for his hair and then select mirror for that as well. And then down here for the monster and don't care. And I'm going to mirror that as well. All right, so now I'm going to come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now, as far as our material settings go, again, I am using the Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl, which is one of my favorite types of heat transfer vinyl. It's basically that in the StarCraft SoftFlex HTV. I, I love them both. So as far as like the setting goes for the Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl, I always use the everyday iron-on setting. Now, if you are using a Cricut Explorer machine and you don't see this page right here, just turn your dial over to custom and then this should pop up for you, no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everyday iron-on on, and now it's basically ready to cut. All we need to do is apply our heat transfer vinyl to our cutting mats. Now I will say this whenever it comes to all your settings, always, always, always do test cuts. It's just so important to do test cuts because you never ever want to make a cut and then find out after the fact that your machine either cut too deep or not deep enough because in a lot of cases, it can just basically ruin all of that vinyl or all that HTV and you do not want to flush money down the drain. Trust me, it's so, so, so much better just to go ahead and do a test cut. And as far as test cuts go, I basically just bring a star onto the canvas resize it down to about half an inch and then go through this exact same process. I go ahead and cut it out and if it didn't cut deep enough, then I go ahead and change the pressure to more or if it cut way too deep, I can change the pressure to less or just go from there. Basically, it's all about trial and error to see what works for your machine. All right, so now I'm actually just gonna go ahead and apply the heat transfer vinyl to my cutting mat. And with the Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl, you always want the shiny side to go face down onto the cutting mat. So there's this more shiny side like this right here. And there's one that's more of like a matte or like a dull finish. So the shiny side or the pretty side as some people call it, goes face down onto the cutting mat. Now the layer for his bolts, I'm actually using this really cool, like it's almost like an icy blue color. And this is actually the Caesar Easy Weed electric heat transfer vinyl. Now it's electric because of the sheen to it. However, the cut settings, the pressure, the everything, if it's gonna work for your other types of Caesar Easy Weed HTV, more than likely it's gonna work for this as well. Same heat setting, it's, it's basically identical. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and load this into my Cricut cutting machine. All right, so while all that is cutting out, I'm actually gonna be using my Cricut Easy Press 2 to actually apply my Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. So what I'm actually gonna do now is go ahead and get this preheated. So I'm gonna power on the machine and I'm actually gonna set this to 305 degrees for about 12 seconds. So to set the temperature, I click this little thermometer and it looks like it's already set to 305 However, if it wasn't, I could use this little plus sign or minus sign to change that temperature just like so. All right, now as far as the time setting goes, I can go ahead and click on this little stopwatch icon and I can raise that up to about 12 seconds and then just tap that little stopwatch icon again to go ahead and set that time in place. Now, whenever it comes time to actually remove your vinyl from your mat, what I always like to do is actually flip my mat over and peel my mat away from my vinyl, or in this case, HTV, instead of the other way around. I just find that that helps prevent any damage from occurring to your material. All right, so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and weed out some of my HTV. And to weed it out, I'm actually using the Pin Pin Weeding Tool. This is literally my favorite type of weeding tool. It's amazing and it's a total, total game changer, especially, especially if you're weeding out small intricate designs or details. So it actually has like this little microscopic pin that pops out of the end of that pin pin, which is why they call it a pin pin. 
and it just to me it's a total game changer it did take me like a day or two to get the hang of it or like the feel of it but once you get the feel of it there's like no going back it's it's amazing All right, so I'm just grabbing my Cricut Easy Press 2 mat. And again, everything that I list or use or mention, that will all be listed for you down in that description box below. So, so no worries on that. I'm grabbing this and I'm grabbing my t-shirt right over here. And then just laying this out onto my Easy Press mat. I'm also grabbing my Teflon sheet right here to use as my cover sheet. Now, a Teflon sheet is my cover sheet of choice. A lot of people use parchment paper, and I actually used to use parchment paper as well. I just find that the Teflon sheet helps to disperse the heat so much more evenly, and all in all, I get a much, much, much better press when I use a Teflon sheet. So I'm actually gonna lay this out over top of my T-shirt, and I'm gonna go ahead and press over this for about five seconds or so, just to preheat it, get any wrinkles and moisture out of the shirt prior to applying any HTV to it. That is just so, so, so important. So again, my easy press is set to 305, and I'm gonna suppress this on here for about five seconds or so. And by the way, I am using the nine inch by nine inch version of the easy press too. So it's really just kind of the perfect size, especially for this type of shirt. It's not too big, it's not too small. I just really found that the nine inch by nine inch version of the easy press is a great size for the smaller projects, but also it's not too small for the bigger projects as well. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off my Teflon sheet. All right, so that's all preheated. So what I'm actually gonna do now is fold the shirt in half, shoulder to shoulder. And now what I'm actually gonna do is grab the easy press yet again, and then just do a crease right here along the center. And I'm not entirely sure if you can see this on camera or not, but there is definitely a visible crease right down the center of that shirt now, which is perfect for us to be able to line up our designs on. So as far as the first design goes, I am using the largest layer, which in this case is this hair layer right here. And even if you wanted to, you could actually fold this in half or to give it like a little minor crease, obviously the sticky side facing out so it's not gonna get stuck to itself. Something just like this should really help with lining this up perfectly. And I typically like to space my design about two to three finger widths below the collar. Uh, for something like this, I'm gonna go with about two finger widths. So something just like that should work. So again, the heat settings for the Caesar EasyWeed HTV, HTV being an acronym for the heat transfer vinyl, is about 10 to 12 seconds or so. Typically 10 to 15. I like to land right around 12 seconds, typically. But whenever you're actually layering Caesar EasyWeed HTV, you do not want to apply that full amount of heat for that full amount of time, okay? What we're actually gonna do is grab the Teflon sheet, and I'm actually going to apply my Easy Press for about three seconds. If this is basically called like the tack method, where we're basically tacking that to the shirt, heating it up just enough to activate that adhesive, where it's gonna bond partially to that shirt. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove that carrier sheet and then move on to the next layer. So something just like this. And I really just like to apply about medium pressure with this as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the Teflon sheet. And this is what they call the Caesar Easy Weed Advantage. Basically where you can go ahead and do a hot peel just be careful not to burn yourself, obviously. And it's, as you can see, it's already adhered somewhat to the shirt. All right, so now let's go with the next layer, which is this one right here, this green monster layer. I like to work from the largest layer down to the smallest. That's the way I typically like to do it. All right, so I like that positioning right there. Let's grab that Teflon sheet yet again, and let's press this for another just three seconds or so. All right, so same thing with this. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it and peel off that carrier sheet. I do recommend to go slow though whenever you are peeling it off, just to be sure that nothing is wanting to pull up with the carrier sheet. If it's wanting to pull up with the carrier sheet, it didn't get enough heat. So you would definitely want to go ahead and repress it at that point. All right, so now for our last layer, which are these bolts in his neck. And again, I went with this like kind of icy steel-like blue. Sorry, I cannot remember for the life of me the names. No worries though, I will list all the names for you down in that description box below as well. But I just thought this would be a really cool color for the bolts in his neck. Something a little bit different from the normal silver. 
All right, so once again, grabbing my Teflon sheet, covering up those bolts, and we're gonna press for another three seconds. Now, I know some people would go ahead and press for the full amount at that time for like the last layer, but I like to go ahead and pull off the carrier sheet before I do that. All right, so one last time, grabbing my Teflon sheet, covering that up, and then let's press it for a full 12 seconds. And there we go, you guys. How cute is this? Now, if you all like today's Cricut tutorial for beginners, and if you learned something new, it would honestly just mean the world to me if you went ahead and stamped that like button, as well as dropped a comment down in that comment section below. Both of those things help me out tremendously here on YouTube, and I honestly just can't thank you enough. Also, while you're at it, if you are new around here or really just new to Cricut in general, and you're also wanting to learn how to use or maybe even master your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may wanna consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that bell for all of the notifications so that you never have to miss out on a single Cricut Minute. I post new Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. And y'all do not want to miss out because there are some really, really cool things coming very, very soon. Also, if you're wanting to stay up to date on all things Mr. Crafty Pants, then you should probably join my texting community. All you have to do is text me at this phone number right here on the screen. I will also put this phone number down in that description box below as well. And you will be among the first people to know whenever a brand new video goes live, a new contest, a new giveaway. And that's one of the things I'm really excited about with this is I'm planning on doing a little special giveaways exclusively for people in my texting community. You will also be updated with like the biggest sales on materials and tools and accessories that you can use with Cricut, with your Cricut cutting machine. And also from time to time, I'll send you little Cricut tips, tricks, or hacks. So be sure that you join that because it's just, it's so much fun. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching today's video. As always, I'm extremely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.